Hello everyone, today I'm going to review the Tokyo Travel Sketchbook Kawaii Culture, Wabi Sabi Design, Female Summarize and Other Obsessions The artist and author is Amaya Arazola and this book was sponsored by Total Publishing By the way, there are some explicit pictures inside this book so um, this video may not be suitable for work Okay, so when I read this book, I was really jealous because Amaya, she spent four weeks in Tokyo and the last time I was there in Tokyo, I only spent like seven days and seven days was just not enough. So she managed to spend four weeks for her residency over there and she just had to exchange her art to stay there that's the criteria for her staying there just uh, draw and exchange her art to stay there so I was really jealous when I read this book so this book basically covers um, it's like a travel log um, journal it covers her experience while she was there in Tokyo I have a lot of art related books that are related to Tokyo or Japan and even though I have so many books it's still interesting to read uh, this book because every person's experience is different even if they go to travel um, to, uh, to the same place so I really love to read about Japan and I also like to read about different artists take on Japan so in this book, it features a lot of Japanese culture, such as food. It also talks about the working class, the salary class, their working culture, the kawaii culture, anime culture, smoking culture. I, when I was reading this, uh, it's, I found out that Tokyo has almost no trash cans. And that's my experience as well when I was there in Tokyo the only trash can or trash bin that I was able to find was this a uh, very small bin that's about the size of this book hidden in a corner inside a public toilet that is the only bin I was able to find and that bin of course uh, was overloaded with trash because it's just too small so Japanese, they have to keep their own trash or throw it back at home. More food. Iki stamps. So these are some of the uh, buildings that she saw while she was there. There is a lot of interesting architecture in Japan and it's a mix of high-tech, uh, modern skyscrapers, and retail shops and then you have the very old traditional Japanese temples there are homes, the towns uh, it's really very um, it's a really beautiful place to travel to so these are the masks that you may see at the Kabuki theater These are some Japanese brush uh, drawings. Oh, it looks like she also went to the Studio Ghibli Museum. Backpack, so this is week number three. So she drew a drawing for each day. Yep, so she just made one drawing for each day and all the um, additional drawings, those were added on much later in order to put out this book. Geishas. There is also a lot to read. These few pages talk about sex, uh, sex toys and um, how Japanese feel about sex 
I read, I've read a lot about the salary men in Japan. So they work like really long hours and not just that, they always have to travel like very far. They have to spend a lot of time traveling on trains to get to their workplace. Because Tokyo is where uh, most of the jobs are. This is on bowing etiquette. So you can bow 15 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 90 degrees. Each uh, angle has a different meaning. You can see the drawing style here is very simple and very stylized. I think it works well and goes uh, well together with the text. Doesn't seem to have any page numbers, so I'm not exactly sure how many pages there are in this book, but it's quite a thick book and it's a paperback format. All right, so I really enjoyed this book and I really hope to travel to Japan again in the future. If you are interested to get this book, you can check out the Amazon and book depository links that I have for you in the video description below. Um, those are affiliate links, which means I earn some money when you purchase through those links, but it is at no extra cost to you. All right, thank you guys for watching. And if you have been to Japan, let me know about your experience. I would love to hear from you. Alright, see you guys in the next video. Bye!